Both of them function as trainers. Both talk to him during the fight in the corner. Hard right hand by Barry John over the top. You gotta try to counter it with the hook, which makes it much more dangerous. Hard right hand by Crawford. Now, Paul, he throws a one-two, and Darius tries to counter the left hand, which is a straight left this time, and allows you to get caught with the right hook because you got to get closer to counter the straight left than you would have had to get to counter the left, the left jab. And then you got to know what he is. He knows how to do both. He knows how to box. And he knows Crawford. Yeah, this is not bad, John. It's really good Crawford. Wobbles him again. No confidence in any of the things he might be thinking of. I think he sees it better. Well, not only does he see it better, but it also allows him to counter quicker. Then, uh, uh, both of the Spinks brothers, Leo Randolph, five gold medals, and he was the best boxer there. This guy's a guy that people don't understand, has some of the quickest hands, smoothest feet, and one of the best amateur fighters to ever live. And has never smoked in his life, but now suffers from... They have it through three. Okay, so I got a three and I think 30 to 26. Terrence Crawford. Then staggered him again in the second round with the right hook. And has continued in the southpaw stance, landing power football style. Uh, you know, you come to fight Terrence Crawford. Anybody who knows Terrence southpaw, not nearly as lengthy as Terrence Crawford. And it's that ability of Crawford, the sort of different, trying to put on a show and make a play. Across the sports landscape with the special athletes. Hard left hand by Crawford. Drives John into the corner. Crawford was smiling at him before he launched this assault. Crawford's actually having fun in there tonight. He is putting on a show. A hurt show. And listen, John is a gambler, so he's got to keep himself careful, keep his head down, because... Body shot by Crawford. Really nice straight left hand right to the chest. Landers. Crawford, when he wants to, can put together combinations. Like that. Another right hook. Oh. Right uppercut. Switching back to the conventional stance. Shocking John with the conventional stance. Suddenly landing power shots out of that and then going back to southpaw right away. He likes to fight. Right away, as soon as Roy said that. But within 30 seconds after, lands a right hand again. Lands a left hook. Lands a straight hook. Any concern about those uh, right hands that he throwing counters? Just catching him with his, uh, what is that hand? Like that? Finally, Bud seems really animated. Trash, I think he called it something else. <laughs> oh, good shot. Hard right hand by John. His best punch of the fight so far. And maybe they should be a little more concerned about the right hand. But that, that got Crawford's attention. And now Crawford wants oh, to answer that. Good right hand by with John. another hard right hand. I told you, John. Two big right hands by John. In this round. I told you John is a devil. And now Crawford wants to punish John the same way Golovkin punished Lemieux. And Tony Weeks. Thought he heard the bell. It was done. Thought he heard the bell. Crowd doesn't like that because that I is, think Weeks kept Crawford from getting a knockout. That is something that happens in boxing. For uh, John is an addictive person. He loves to gamble. And there you see him gambling with that overhand right. He finally got it to work. He's been taking a risk and doing it every time uh, he got in trouble in previous times in the fight. This time he finally took that gamble and it paid off just a little bit. Very firmly will be Pacquiao's last appearance in the ring. The speed and the velocity on the punch, just that he's fighting a tougher guy, a guy who can take and absorb much more, a guy opponent that we've seen in front of Triple G we're, besides the move. We're going to have to look at Triple G power point. That's that fine. punch momentarily buckled John C. Oh. One punch he's down again. John is telling Weeks he got hit on the back of the head. And now he's going to try to beat the count. Hey! Come on, come on. Good. It wasn't intentionally behind the head, but the second punch, which comes right here, was in the back of the head. Very dangerous punch in boxing. One of the most. Harold, how do you have it through nine? Look at Jim, I got it 90 to 79. Nine rounds to nothing. Terrence Crawford. Jim, I gave him that eighth round with uh, Terry Jean landed two big right hands because he jumped right on Jean and hurt Jean after Jean landed the right hand. Nine to nothing, Crawford. Crawford with both hands. <laughs> two hard right hooks off the top of the head. John looking for a way out of the corner. Can't find it. Getting hammered by Crawford. Hard left hand, okay. right hook, another left cross. Weeks is looking for an excuse to step in here. Yeah, he is. And Crawford, 
And I love that in a fighter. Those counters where you could understand where the corner thinks oh, maybe he can shot. score a miracle. This just body, body shots shot. there. Derry John is a tough guy in here this long. Oh, good right hand by Derry John. There it is. And right there would get him counter if he's not careful. Yeah, and he's getting caught with a right hook, caught with a left hand, and Tony Weeks is going to stop it. Good stoppage by Tony Weeks. Save him from himself. Derry John was trying his best. Crawford on the hunt right here, sensing that Derry John's legs were weakening. Constantly kept the pressure on. Landing left hands and right hooks like that left hand right there. That hurt him. That hook sent him through the rope, through the ropes. And the referee has seen enough at that point because he realized that Jean, John's legs were hurt and that John was not gonna submit to this. You had to save him from himself at this point, at this point. And I think the referee did a great job of saving Derry John from himself. Terrence.